All right, so we're gonna get back to it today. Today, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the little spot door down here done. All right, because of this little irregular bump here, I'm gonna have to start at this end and kind of work backwards towards that wall. Then once I get this one done, I'll be able to come from that side back across again. But we'll go ahead and set up a camera for a little time lapse to show this. I didn't show it because it was real tight and literally the camera was like looking at my back the whole time so i just went ahead and i got the floor finished for that one little corner because i'm going to wait and see if i have a cutoff for that i don't want to cut a whole piece for that unless i have to but now what we're going to end up doing is that piece i had to trim off the base of the cabinet is this which is going to work for here so i went ahead and you can see i got a line across here now i just gotta go ahead and scribe that Now that I've uh, dulled my blade on the concrete, I go get a chisel and uh, we'll finish taking that off. All right, not happy with it, you know, as far as how hard it was, but yeah, we got it in. So now it's in and there'll be a transition strip that we don't have that'll go over this. So there is about maybe an eighth of an inch difference between the two as far as thickness so you might be able to see that from down here all right but now we're going to go ahead and get started back over there again So we're doing pretty good on getting this floor done, but we finally hit the one point that I've been dreading because doing measurements, I could tell that it wasn't quite right. And that is right here by the stairs, because you can see the stairs are not square with the room. So now I'm gonna have to actually cut a very odd piece to get in here because being at the stairs, I don't wanna really have a big trim sticking out to trip over. So. You can see over here in this corner, we're already touching to over here where there's a bigger gap and just comes across. So we're gonna sit here and struggle and get this cut. All right, I've been doing a horrible job, but you know, I've actually made a lot more progress on the floor. So let's show you where we're at right now and what I've been doing. All right, so you can see I'm all the way back. I'm actually behind the stairs now. So I've already done the cutouts for around that. And we're working our way across. Pretty soon I get more plastic out. But I got to shift all this stuff to that corner. But right now what I've been working on is trying to get these cuts. Because you can see, especially around here, they're pretty precise. So what I've been doing is actually taking a little bitty chunks off at a time all right I'll show you exactly how i'm getting precise you can see my little lines that i have where i gotta take little nicks off here just to get enough room so i can put this piece in and then slide it over so what i've been doing is with this running i've actually been going you know kind of a sideways following my line as i come around so but i'm gonna have to concentrate on doing that so i'm not doing that when i'm filming all right and you can see how it comes out once you do that um now the one thing it does make it is the cuts underneath, it actually has a beveled edge. So if I need to do a little fine tune, I can do that over there with just using like a utility knife because it's now thinner and it's easier to trim off. I keep doing that, having the crowbar in here pushing and what I'm pounding on is actually right here near the seam 
basically vibrating this so these snap together and they're nice and smooth. Got everything here moved and now we got everything shifted around to the other side. So now we can go ahead and keep going. And you can see I got the plastic down everywhere here. But the one thing is right here is gonna be tiled. So that's not gonna be done today. All right, I figured out a way. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we're going ahead and cutting these out here. All right, so here's the extreme close up. You can see my little line that I'm gonna, I need to cut off and I'm gonna be using the table saw here. So let me get the camera set up and I'll show you how to do it. And you can see how much we got done. When I did get more done, I got to cut around here and now I'm up to here. So next it's going to be doing full runs, but I'm probably going to do a few more runs and then I got to stop and actually get my tile put down first. So that way I know exactly where to trim everything up to. All right, you can see I'm making some progress with the flooring back here and you can see this nice piece that I had to cut, which is very odd because these are the ones going on the flooring. And you can see how odd the shape that is because this piece that I just cut, that's going in here. We're trying to figure out our tiling situation now. So what we're gonna do is actually, I think I'm gonna put them as close to the wall as I can and then see and judge them from there. So I'm sure I'm talking about. All right, so what I'm trying to do here is get them as close to there as I can to see which one is gonna be sticking out the farthest this way. And then I'll basically get a line parallel to that so that way I have a nice straight edge going across. So hopefully I can get this to line up and give me a nice even border all the way across. All right, so we got the tile down now and you can see from the side that it's actually uh, in a pretty straight line going all the way down. This end I wanted to be straight. This end uh, I wasn't too worried about, but this way I can run the flooring and try to go straight along there and just leave enough of a gap for the mortar seam between this and the flooring hit a tricky point here where, you know, I'm in this little area now, so I can't really hammer against here because I don't want to hit these because I don't want to break any of my tile that I have set in and I need to maintain my little gap evenly. So what I come up with a solution here is basically cut my pieces so they're exactly the size I need. Then I'm going to put it in as one whole thing. All right, that actually worked pretty well. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is going to keep doing that so I can maintain my gaps. So what I do is I set the whole thing in there, put it in the groove, and then instead of hitting this way, just put it on the edge and tap it in to make sure everything is seated. So now we're going to continue on down the rest of the way. All right, I can see that I've got a lot more of the floor done. So you show you here. This whole corner is done. I got the tile laid in, so that has to dry. I'm gonna let that dry for at least you know two to three days before I do anything with it. Now I just got this side. We're going ahead and I got almost all of it done, but I just got one more little piece to do. Just gotta do that strip, which is about an inch and a half strip the whole way down. All right, so we got the floor all done. Now we just gotta go around and we're gonna have to do the trim, but we'll take it around and I'll show you what it looks like now. All right, you can see I got the floor deck here all done, all the way around to here. I still have to do the transition strip between these two, but you can see we're done all the way around the room. So the only thing I have to finish up here is I got to get the grout, get all that grouted in, and that's all done. Now it's going to be uh, getting the trim on.